For the first time, we're hearing from a young father who became paralyzed after a diving accident last summer. It happened on Lake Minnetonka when 28-year-old Kirk Ingram dove into shallow water and crushed his spine. That moment I dove in, I was not able to turn my head up whatsoever, and I vividly can remember that. Kirk is now paralyzed from the chest down. He has been hospitalized for the last nine months and just went home last Friday. Today, Angela Davis spoke with him about his road to recovery, his hopes, and his regrets. Gravity is not my friend at this time. Um, I've got some movement um, against gravity. Last August, Kirk and his wife Melissa had just become parents. Their daughter was two weeks old. Today, Alexa is nine months old, and Kirk is unable to hold her. I can talk with her, and my wife's been great by putting her up on my lap and being able to just give uh, visual cues, but being able to touch her, she'll grab my arm, which is always nice. Three days a week, Kirk is here at the Courage Kinney Rehabilitation Institute in Golden Valley, working to get back to work. Open Dragon Pad. He was an IT project manager at Target. He says the company is holding a position open for him, but he has to learn how to operate a computer using dictation software. Just give short um, uh, commands to allow me to get around the computer as well as type um, by using my mouth without using the computer. Several types of therapy are helping Kirk get stronger, including spending time in the pool where he can float and even make minor movements. So if he has just a tiny muscle contraction in the water, he can get a really big movement out of it which is great because then he can move through a full range of motion and really build up that strength. Kirk remains optimistic, but it's clear he worries about being a good father. It's always going to be a new encounter, and obviously this one's going to be a little bit different with my, me and my chair that I can't stop her from going places. Teresa Ingram is Kirk's mother. It's hard. I mean, it's exciting. I'm so blessed that he's still here. I have to keep reminding myself that because it's hard to see that he can't hold her. As you can imagine, the family is dealing with some huge medical expenses. It's one of the reasons Kirk is so determined to return to work. He does have insurance coverage right now through his wife, but it doesn't cover the cost of the therapy sessions and the medical equipment that he needs. If you would like to help, go to WCCO.com slash links, a number of ways where you can help the family out. Wonderful people, very uh, optimistic, um, very strong, strong-willed. Yeah, very honest. We, mm -hmm. we certainly wish him all the best. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Angela.